Welcome to yet another video on the G1000 and what I'm doing this time is I'm using VNAV to work my way down through these step-down altitudes on a fairly complicated approach and a great example is the Charlotte Douglas ILS runway 18 left approach and as you can see from this approach plate we have six waypoint step downs starting at 6,000 feet and taking us down to the uh, final approach fix at 2400 now this is a, a new approach plate the latest one and of course the one that I have in the game is older and there is no eagle uh, final approach fix on the older chart QWED is the final approach fix so that really is five so obviously we're going to need to use the older chart but I wanted to show you this one just to show you how complex this is in the step downs and as you can see we are just a little bit northeast of the initial approach fix cavi so let me bring up the flight plan and what you see is the initial approach fix cavi which starts at 6,000 feet then we go to snack at 5,000 feet then Gilgi at 4,000 feet and then we reach QWED which is the final approach fix and because of all these step downs this approach lends itself very well to using VNAV to navigate all of these altitudes not to mention the workload that would be involved in having to drop to all these altitudes when you're probably going to be having to deal with air traffic control at the same time there are a couple of rules you have to know about VNAV to get the best use of it. The first one is VNAV only works with descents. You can't use it for SIDs, instrument departures. You can't use it for anything that involves moving to a higher altitude. The second is a very important lesson to be learned about VNAV. That is the first altitude it wants to descend to must be lower than a set altitude that you have set. And as you can see, I have 7100 set here and VNAV's first altitude is 5000. In this case, you can't even invoke VNAV. You can press that button and nothing will happen. And the G1000 is very accommodating on this. I can change this set altitude and the altitude won't change. It will stay at 7100 even though I've changed that. So what I want to do is drop this down to my final approach fix altitude of 3000. So let's do that. Now that we've set our altitude to 3000, we see that it's less than the VNAV target altitude of 4000. So when we press the VNAV button, it should engage. And we see that it has VPATH in white, which means that once it gets down to the target altitude of 4000, this will go green and it will be engaged. And the really cool thing is everything from here on to the final approach fix will be completely automatic other than throttle management. Our next duty will be to set the autopilot to approach mode once we get to the final approach course. Until then, we really are just interested in observers. So as you can see, VNAV has engaged now and will begin descending to 6,000 feet. And we can see the VNAV guidance scale there with the Magenta Chevron, which kind of mimics glide slope. So while we're on the way to the initial approach fix cabby, VNAV is busy getting us down to 4,000 feet. Now that we've reached Cabby, VNAV will be about the business of getting us down to the next waypoint, which is Snack at 5,000 feet. So now we're coming up on Snack in 13 seconds, and we're real close to 5,000 feet, so VNAV will get busy getting us down to Gilkey at 4,000 feet. 
My only job in all of this is to maintain throttle control. So I'll back off on throttle a little to keep it in the green. So I've done my gumps and dropped a notch of flaps. So Gilgi is the top of the final approach course, so we should be getting green needles very soon, and VNAV's job will be over. So there we got the localizer, and all that's left is to hit the approach button. And from here we just ride the beam and manage throttle. So there's QED, the final approach fix. Now we're on the final leg to landing. So I hope you can see that VNAV is not just for jets and stars, but it's also useful for little Cessna 172s.